Well, this about concludes progress for the weekend. Woo! And there she is, on her feet for the first time. All the bits attached. Doesn't have the steering in place, obviously, so these are just flopping around in the breeze there. Got the battery in. The steering motor there. All the suspension is working wonderfully with the weight of the battery in there. It really, um, really feels like it's going to do the business. For the fuel tank, I was going to use this elbow section. The reason I used this in the first place was that it was cheap, but um, there's nowhere for it to fit. It doesn't quite make it into any of the gaps and I don't want it just sitting on the top. So I'm thinking I might go with a smaller fuel tank and just refill it more often. Nothing wrong with that, at least to begin with. And then maybe I'll make something smarter in the future. And this will fit just in here, which is the best place for it because the fuel lines come straight out of this direction from in here really convenient. The pulley is still loose on the shaft but this other one here that I've got is really tight and I've now got the challenge that I've fixed the shaft in place with my uh, shrunken coke bottle method and I still need to attach this firmly to the shaft so I'm thinking I'm just gonna whack a bunch of glue in there squeeze them into the correct position so that they're together and then just put a screw in there so that it's hard against the shaft. And I figure that that should be enough. I should be able to install it that way without, you know, disassembling the whole thing again. I've built some of these steering upright thingies, which are going to be attached to the knuckle at the front here. And then there'll be a bar between this and this block, I think. And that bar will be what causes it to steer. I've just got a bit of wood clamped across there right now so that it doesn't flop around. In order to design my steering assembly, I've written a piece of software which simulates the steering linkage. You can't see my mouse, but by moving it side to side, I can control the servo motor. Using these options on the side here, I can control the initial setup and see how it performs. The goal of this is to get your turning circle to be where you want it to be. You'll notice just on the edge of the screen there, there's a little red square. That is the point which both axles of the front wheels are pointing towards. And that should be round about the center of the turning circle. So you can see over there, we're getting a pretty tight turning circle with a radius of around about 1.8 me 1.1 meters. Unfortunately, if you take a look at the steering linkage, we've almost bottomed it out. And this is a problem because if we go just a bit further, we could lose the wheel and it could kick over the other side like that. Well, that's it for this week. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. I'm still working on that video about the microphone, so hopefully I'll get around to that soon. Bye!